to do is for project and task management hello guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use to do is for your project management and for your task management all in one well place and what is this platform and how you can access it so let's get into the video so first of all what you need to do is you have to open to doist.com on your web browser you can just go on and type it in directly into your url bar or you can just continue with by typing it into the google.com after you open to doist.com you're going to get a sign page you need to complete the sign up by adding in your email or your password you can just directly connect it to the google and you will be logged in after logging in this something your dashboard will be something like this you're going to get all of your projects right here you're going to get a sidebar in which you, you will have an inbox a today and upcoming filters and tables your favorite projects your all of your projects are going to be here so you can start making any project on todoist and you can start managing it by very easy tools so uh, todoist is a very simple and very clean platform with no complexity at all you can see by the preface that everything is all aligned and everything is very neat and everything is in control like you don't have any complexity there are not a lot of things that you can you know, not a lot of integrations that you can use on Todoist. You have just simple task management and project management need that you can fulfill from Todoist. So you can add new tasks, you can add new projects, you can track your progress, you can have see look on your productivity, you can search all of them, but they're not too much complex things that can basically get a hassle between your project management and also how you can basically continue by adding in a new project or adding in a new task so these are all the projects that i have added before so this is my personal project and i'm just this is my thesis project so i'm just going to create a new project right now for you guys so that i can show you how it's done so first of all need to add the name of the project i'm just going to add it as a test project right now okay after that i need to add in the color of the project you can choose in any color that you want charcoal salmon magenta lavender etc i'm just going to choose let's say lime green and then you have to if you want to add add it to your favorites you can just click on i mean turn this button on otherwise you can just let it go then you have your view do you want your project to be viewed as a list or to be viewed as a board i'm just going to go with the board view because board seems more easy to me and then you can click on add when you click on add your test project has been created okay so now you have to add in the sections of the board that you have just created so first section of the board is going to be to do obviously all the to do tasks are going to be here add section then the other section you are going to i'm going to name it as something in progress or something like that i'm just going to name it in progress so mostly when you are when you use the board view of your project management it is differentiated by the completion of the task or the status of the tasks uh, in which state of completion are in all the tasks that needed to be done are going to be in to do all the tasks that are in the progress of completion are going to be in progress at section all the tasks that are being completed are going to be in the completed sections so i'm just going to add the section as well and i'm going to add a fourth section for all the tasks that are stuck or that are not being completed because of some kind of problem so these are all the four tables of all the four boards that i've just added now in each of these board i need to add a task so i'm just going to add a task name in the first to do section let's say i want to add a task as research this is just this random task that i've just created now i have to add in it's up to you that you want to add in some kind of description of that task or you don't want to do that so i'm just going to leave it but you can add a good description of what is what needs to be done in this task after you are done with that you have an option to set a due date for this task for example right like for tomorrow is a due date for this task that you need to have a priority i'm just going to add it as a high priority which is p1 and you also you can set a reminder for this task but for that you need to be using the pro version of todoist but i'm not using the pro version right now i'm using a free version so that's why i won't be able to do that then you have an other options that you can add as well you can edit the task sections and or you can add the extensions after that you can see that select a project this uh, task is related to the project test project if you want to add it uh, in any other project just go on and add it at thesis or routines or personal whatever so after you're done just click on this option and your task will be added into test project which is 
is your to do section so i'm just going to drag it and drop it into the to do section this is the how you can create a task in your test project now if you want to create a new project overall you can just click on this option then you're going to view all the tasks that you have for today and they're going to be here like you can see that these are the ones that i have created before learn the basics with easy to flow add all my personal tasks do a weekly review of my tasks and duels so these are all due of which are january 1 january 2 january 3 the one that i've added before then you have your inbox in your inbox you're gonna get your all of your emails and all of the messages that you have got from different people from your company and everything so you can just go on and add the task in that as well and all the upcoming tasks are gonna show themselves right here you can see that for march 14 which is tomorrow two research project test projects are due so you can just go on and complete that you can also add a task from by clicking on this option this plus sign right here and you can add a task name you can add a, a due date priority reminders and you can see that with where it is headed in, in which department or which project you want to add this task to and you can just go on and add that you can change the view from layout to sorting to board and uh, to assign to as well and you can view them like that and your open uh, your productivity is going to show itself right here you can set your goals from this option right here and whenever those goals are met your productivity will be increased like for example daily you have five daily tasks and weekly 30 tasks so uh, your saturday and sunday is off so if you want to achieve your productivity and if you want to uh, you know see the five out of five written here then you need to complete at least five tasks daily in your board in your projects as well so that uh, by to do is your productivity will be raised you can increase the number of tasks or decrease the number of tasks that is your personal opinion then you have your theme you can change the theme of the to do is if you want to right now using this you can move it and change it to noir or you can make it dark it is easier for eyes to use uh, you know to adjust to this dark theme then you have your sidebar you can change it as well you can change your sidebar so you have your sidebar you can change you can basically remove all of those things from the sidebar if you want to then you have your quick add you can go on and see show your task actions due date assignee priority reminders you can remove each one of them if you want to then you have your productivity the, the one that i have showed right now you have reminders notifications and backups so these are all of the things that you can manage on todoist and this is simply the basically this is the gist of Todoist and this is how you can use Todoist for your project management. You have seen that everything is so easy on Todoist and it is very simple that everyone can use it without any kind of problem. Okay, so let me show you the pricing of Todoist. The starters plan of Todoist is free of cost and it costs uh, nothing. And this is the current plan that I have used in this video and it will give you five active projects, five collaborators per project, five MB files, uploads and three filters and one week activity history. So when you go on to the pro version of Todoist which is for power users it is a four US dollars which is basically for each month and you can also build the you know the versions of the price annually as well so for the month it is going to be five dollars and four dollars will be billed annually and it is going to have 300 active projects 25 collaborators per project 100 MB file uploads 150 filters reminders unlimited activity history and themes and auto backups then there is a business plan which is for teams uh, and it is of uh, six US dollars per user per month, which is billed annually, and US eight US dollars, which is billed annually. And it will have everything in pro plan with 500 active projects per member, 50 people per project, team inbox, team billing, and admin and member role. So, there are a lot of things that you can compare. And depending upon the size of your enterprise and your business, you can choose a plan on to do it. If you are just a starter, then I would recommend you to go with the starters of you know the free plan, and I guess it will work well for you as well. So, this was it for today's video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. Please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you